what's up guys so today i brought you guys some few leaves here that rabbits do eat so i'm going to be telling you guys the names of some of these leaves and i'm going to also be feeding it to our rabbit these leaves are easy leaves to find you don't need to buy them you don't need to spend any money on any of these leaves all you need to do is when you cut it maybe you can wash it wilt it a bit then you can feed it to your rabbit all these can be gotten from your forest you don't buy any of them so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys this leaf one after the other then i'm going also to be feeding it to our rabbit so that they will eat it and you guys can actually see what i'm talking about and also for those of you guys that don't know leaves to feed your rabbit or that don't know the right mixtures of leaves to give this video is for you so watch to the end and don't miss out on any part of this video so the number one here is the bitter leaf this is bitter leaf as you guys know a lot of you guys used to say i don't zoom in so please zoom in for them to see the leaf very very well I don't know if they have zoomed in for them to see the leaf very very well this here is bitter leaf bitter leaf is being fed for rabbit bitter leaf is like the local name for this leaf i think it's, it's even what they call it all over the world bitter leaf so you can feed this bitter leaf to your rabbit and it's very very good for them bitter leaf helps also to control um to control coccidiosis for rabbit so if you feed bitter leaf to your rabbit uh you might not be seeing stuff like that so mostly i like giving this bitter leaf to my male rabbit i like giving bitter leaf to my male rabbit so these are two males here i'm going to be giving them this bitter leaf just little little quantity each for them to eat little quantity each for them to actually eat Come closer so that you can see. As you can see, this one is already eating it. The bitter leaf I put in for there is already eating it. The other one also is eating its own too. So let's continue. <laughs> I think this guy here is not really hungry. So let's continue with the rest of the video. Let's continue. This one here is plantain leaf, plantain leaf or banana leaf. Any of them is the same thing. Plantain leaf or banana leaf, rabbit do eat it and they love it a lot. So you can feed it to your rabbit. Plantain leaf or banana leaf, the both of them are still the same thing. Yes, rabbit can eat it. So we are going to be giving this to this particular um, rabbit here. And as you can see, it is eating it immediately. As you guys can see, it is eating it immediately. So let's move on. Let's move on. The next one we have here is. Um, this particular leaf here, they say this one is works for blood tonic for rabbit. This particular one works like a blood tonic for rabbit. Rabbit also eat this leaf and they love it a lot. I'm going to also be giving this to one of my rabbits in this video. I mean, then this, but this particular one, don't give this one to a pregnant rabbit. I, I personally, I don't give it to a pregnant rabbit. This particular one, I don't give it to pregnant rabbit. But you can give it to any other rabbit in your farm. That's very fine. So here is Tridax. This one here is Tridax. This is Tridax. Rabbits do love Tridax a lot also. So you can give this one to both pregnant rabbits, grower rabbits, winner rabbits, anyone. So I have one pregnant rabbit here. So I'm going to be putting in the Tridax leaf for the rabbit. As you guys can see, the rabbit is eating very, very well. I hope you guys can see. The rabbit is eating very, very well. So let's continue with the rest uh let's let's open up this other part of the cages so that we can show you guys more of what we are talking about so this here is cassava leaf cassava leaf rabbit do eat cassava leaf also it's very very good nice for them feed it to your rabbit not to, like they love it a lot fresh like this i just put it in for this particular rabbit here and it's going to eat it as you guys can see it is eating it very very well and also her babies are even going to join her to eat this particular leaf yeah so this particular one here i don't really know the name of this leaf but i'm going to be giving it to one of my doe so that you guys can see what i'm talking about so this is one of my doe here i'm going to be putting in this leaf for her as you guys can see, she's eating it very, very well. She's eating it very, very well. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move on. 
let's move on with the rest of the video so this here is um potato leaf this is potato leaf come closer zoom it so that you can see this is potato leaf although not that fresh but it has been wilted though that's why it's looking like this i'm going to be adding it up to this particular one meal i'm going to be adding it up there and you are going to see that the rabbit is going to eat it very very well Everybody is going to eat it very very well so let's move on let's move on guys let's move on what we have here next is centrosima leaf what we have here next is centrosima leaf i'm going to be giving this to another rabbit here then we have what we call um the palm tree leaf this one is the palm tree leaf rabbit also eats it too i'm also going to be giving it to one of our rabbits that is here but the, the way i like feeding this particular one i don't like it being scattered in my cage so i just fold it in such way like this and i put it inside their cage so that that way is nice and clean and as you guys can see the rabbit is eating it very very well so let's move on so we don't waste a lot of time yeah so i'm gonna be locking some of the cages so that my rabbit won't jump out so, so this here is our centrosima leaf one of the best i like and also this one is the emily leaf the emily leaf look at it very very well so you don't make a mistake when you are cutting this is the emily leaf then this one is the centrosima look at this one very well i'm going to be adding these two together and i'm going to be feeding it to one of our goats here so you guys can see i'm just going to be putting it in she has babies and you can see some of her babies are already eating the leaves too yes so that's how well they eat it so we also have our elephant grass here fresh ones then this other leaf here is called um the christmas flower christmas leaf or christmas flower anyhow you want to call it as you guys can see most times you used to come with a seed a little seed this to come with a little seed that's a very easy way to identify it then here we have the normal regular pumpkin we used to cook everyone should know this particular one this is normal regular pumpkin we used to cook i'm go also going to be giving this to one rabbit so that you guys can also see what i'm talking about okay, so the rabbit is eating it very very well so that's just it what we are talking about so this here our elephant grass we are going to be tying it in such a way that our rabbit is not going to scatter it up and down like most like times when i want to feed them this elephant grass this is how i like tying it this is how i like tying it i don't just like scattering it up and down everywhere in their cage anyhow so i'm going to be putting it in for this particular tube then this we are going to be putting it for this particular day. So come closer so that you can see what I'm uh, talking about. So I hope you guys have seen what I'm saying. Alright, alright, alright. So I hope I've been able to explain something and you have learned something from this video. At least even if you have not learned anything, you have learned some few leaves that you can actually feed some of your rabbits. So thank you for watching. Help us like the video. Just give us a like to encourage us to be making more videos like this. Just a like because it takes us time, energy and also some money to make videos like this for you guys. Thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are going to be bringing you more and more updates on rabbit farming. So thank you for watching this video. Like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time, as always, say peace out.